Hi guys, this is Donovan Myers with an overview of the Crown 303 FK Korean joystick as well as a simple how-to uh, of installing it into a Mad Cats TE stick. The uh, mounting plate on here allows you to install this stick into any kind of Sanwa compatible case. So if you had uh, JLF in there to begin with, you could swap this stick into that uh, pretty easily. So you'll notice on the bottom here, it's a little bit different. The switches are all exposed. There's no um, PCB with a little five pin connector that makes it easy to connect up to your joystick. But um, if you buy this stick through focusattack.com, you also have the option of getting this harness included. And you can see here it comes with a, a male five pin connector. So we're essentially recreating that PCB uh, with this harness. Okay, like most mods, this one starts with taking the top panel off. Okay, so you'll notice my buttons aren't connected up, just ignore that. Um, but I do have the joystick connected right here. Um, all you do is obviously pull it off. If there's glue on there, you'll want to maybe use an X-Acto to cut between it. Um, but what I've done here, this very front pin towards the front of the case here, I've marked that with um, a black sharpie, so I know that that's the ground. So the way this was connected up, this very far pin from the camera is the ground, so that's important. Just move this out of the way. So the way the JLF was in there was with the plate going this way. So what I'll want to do is set up my harness so that this connector comes out this side. Now if I follow the pin out here for the joystick, uh, it goes down, up, left, right, ground. So I know looking at this, it would be ground, right, left, up, down. So on this harness, uh, this bottom black wire is ground. So these are gonna end up going together like this. Now when it comes to the joystick, when I press up, it's actually pushing on this switch right here. So this is the switch that I need to connect to up. So up on this harness is going to be this orange connector. Okay, these switches aren't labeled, but on normal like American style cherry switches, this top guy that comes out is always the ground and this one is the signal. So I'm going to connect it up that way. So the orange wire is on the signal part and the black wire is on the ground. So down in this case is going to be this switch up here, which is red. When I push to the left, it's hitting this switch right here. So this one is yellow, which is good because that lines up with what we're doing here. And by process of elimination then, the green one goes on the bottom left one here. So just to double check if we watch here, uh, ground is black, right is green, and if I move this to the right, it's hitting this switch here, which is green. If I move this to the left, it's hitting this switch up here, which is yellow. That's the very next one. Then orange is up, so when I push up, I'm hitting down here, which is orange. And if I push down, I'm hitting up here, which is red. So we have this correctly um, connected up. Unlike a JLF shaft, there's no place for you to put a screwdriver in here. So what we need to do is just get this E-clip off, and that'll get the stick out. So I'm just going to carefully pry this away. These have a tendency to shoot across the room usually, so... Okay, so I got the E-clip off. I'm just gonna pull the shaft out. Lost the actuator, so I wanna keep that handy. Uh, so the next step is getting the top panel back. As I mentioned, the JLF shaft has a nice screwdriver groove here, so I'll just use that to remove the ball top. Now all I need to do are remove the four screws here. Okay, so remember we had it in this way with the green and the bottom left here. So if I just line this up, flip it over. This is the way we're going to screw it back in with the uh, green on the bottom right here and the yellow on the top left. 
Once I have that screwed in, all I need to do is come back to the top side, put the shaft through, put the actuator back on. And there were two sides to this. There's this side with the little groove on top and then the smooth side. The smooth side is what faced out. Now you may be able to push that on with your fingers or you could use a flat screwdriver to push against it or maybe a pair of pliers. So you can see there I got it back on with a flat screwdriver. So that's basically it. All I need to do now is uh, connect this back up. Remember the black wire goes to where hopefully you marked where your ground was. So I'm still having issues closing the case. And the reason is because these micro switches uh, sink down a little bit lower. So the harness that was going around here was hitting the edges of this. Now you have a couple options. You could dremel out around this area. As you can see, I have no problem dremeling my case, but if you don't want to do that, another thing you could do is very carefully bend these tabs. So I'd bend this one uh, more towards the corner and this one more towards that corner and this one more towards that corner. So that's actually what I'm going to do because probably most people will do that. So you can see here that I bent the prongs on the switches so that the, those connectors are kind of going into the corners and getting out of the way. And uh, I've managed to basically get this to be flat. It takes a little bit of convincing, uh, but once the screws are in, this will stay down flush. So that's it. That's all there is to this mod. See you next time.